in this example we are required to find the magnetic moment of the current carrying loop shown in the figure here we just have a look on the figure we can see there is a three dimensional loop in which these two wire segments are in xy plane making a square of edge length r this is a quarter circular arc in yz plane and this is a straight wire in xz plane so to find out the magnetic moment of this loop it is advisable that in such situations to split the loop in three loops in three different planes like you just have a look on the alternative situation i am drawing here the single loop i can split into three loops like this this is a square loop which is carrying a current i in anti clockwise manner another is a quarter circular segment which is also carrying a current in anti clockwise manner and another is a triangular loop which is carrying a current in this direction anti clockwise manner and here you can see the three loops are placed edge to edge along with the three axes of this coordinate system you can see the wires carrying current along the length of the axis will cancel out their currents and only the outer loop will be left over so here we can see for this loop uh, which is uh, having a magnetic moment i multiplied by r square you can see its magnetic moment is in the direction of uh, z axis this is the quarter circular uh, segment which is having area pi r square by 4 if we just have a look on the right hand thumb rule we can see its magnetic moment is in x direction and for this triangular loop the current is in anti clockwise manner and here the magnetic moment will be in the direction of y axis so here for all the three we need to add up because adding up the three loops we are getting the original loop so in this situation for this quarter circle we can write magnetic moment is current multiplied by pi r square by 4 and its magnetic moment is in x direction so it is i cap plus for this triangular loop uh, the total area will be r square by 2 so magnetic moment will be i r square by 2 g cap plus for this uh, square loop uh, the magnetic moment is i multiplied by r square and the direction is k cap so this will be the answer to this problem that is the total magnetic moment of this three dimensional loop which we have calculated by splitting it into three independent loops carrying current in similar directions with the their uh, edges along the axis of coordinate system will be having opposite and equal current so that when the three loops are joined edge to edge along the axis of this coordinate system the original loop will be formed so this is a method which we are going to use in many cases and whenever there is a loop which is a three dimensional uh, it is advisable to split it into two or more loops